happy Tuesday and welcome back to another mini live prep session for CMTC 2023. Hi! So today's session is about TV commercial competition. So it's one of my favorite competitions at CMTC and this competition is open to all ages who attend CMTC. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I will try to keep track of any questions that you have and answer as we go. Okay, so this competition, the TV commercial competition, is set up to resemble an industry standard audition. So it's close to an audience, which means it's just you going into that room with the table of reps who are there judging as well as scouting at CMTC. So this competition, you can use either a published or an original script. So this is very important. CMTC does not provide a script for this competition. We do provide scripts for self-tape competition as well as TV film casting competition, but not TV commercial competition. So you make up your own script, or if you have a favorite commercial, you can use that as well, or you can make up your own. So that's really up to you. You do have creative liberties for this competition especially. And we do suggest that those who are new to acting or kind of just want to get their feet wet with acting, do register in this competition because again, the reps don't have a script to work off of. So if you mess up, you can just keep going. Um, so again, if you are new to acting and just want to try it out, this is a great competition for you. Again, it is close to an audience. So it's just you walking into a room with the table of reps who are judging the competition as well as scouting for talent. So again, a really great competition to get started in acting. So I'm going to give you the rules just really quick. They are listed on our website if you want a refresher. And again, on Thursday, you'll get an email with a recap of the session if you're a contestant and a link to register. So first question, how long should it be? Great question. So that's in the rules, 10 seconds to 30 seconds. So if you pass 30 seconds, the reps do have the right to stop you. Again, um, just to make it fair for everybody, this competition is a pretty popular one, so there are a lot of contestants in it. However, um, you do have 10 to 30 seconds. And as you'll see, most commercials these days are about 15 seconds. So it's, or they'll do two different versions. They'll do a 15 second commercial and then a 30 second commercial, de depending on the spot. Okay, so you do have 10 to 30 seconds. So this is a competition actually, if you are in, that you can start preparing for right away. Because again, we don't give you a script, you get to make up your own. And the Super Bowl is right around the corner and there's some great commercials, as we all know, throughout the Super Bowl. So and maybe take note of any of those that you really enjoy and you can copy them. Again, you could copy them or you could copy it and make it your own, however you see fit. Another great question, can they bring a prop? So you can have a small prop with you. Last year, I know someone did it with like a protein shaker. So she brought her prop in, had the protein shaker with her and then kind of dressed up a little more athletic. So I'll get into that in a second. You can't have large props, nothing too distracting. But say if you're doing a Coca-Cola commercial, you can feel free to bring in a little Coca-Cola can, but nothing too um, big, nothing too obnoxious. And again, kind of like when we were talking about the program book photos, you don't want to distract from your, from yourself if you have something really distracting and big or something that could maybe mess you up potentially while you are trying to do your commercial. So I also have some tips from Ray Miller from Venture Entertainment. Um, we talked to him about commercials. It's actually on our YouTube a little bit ago and he honestly suggests not even using a prop because it is just something that can get in your way while you're trying to perform and everyone does get a little nervous. This is usually one of our first competitions for actors or again, models, we do recommend going into this competition to get used to auditions for commercials because again, models need to be comfortable in front of the still camera and the moving camera. As you'll see, a lot of models have to do commercials as well as print work if they're booked for a campaign. So, the runway, I'm just getting a question here. When are you doing a live video on runway modeling? So just check the contestant hub. The schedule for these live sessions is up there and you are also emailed a copy as well. Okay, so let me get into the TV commercial competition rules. Again, these are all listed on our website, but I am just gonna give them to you here as well. Okay, so it's open to all contestants of all ages. So four to seven, eight to 11, so on and so forth. 
Okay, so contestants will be performing in front of the panel of reps, not in front of a live audience. So just you and the reps. We just posted photos from last year's competition on our Instagram page. So you can check those out to kind of get a little look inside the what the room looks like and how the setup is. There will be an X on the floor as you walk in. You'll be told to go on the X and slate and start your commercial. Okay, so uh, again, contestants can use a published or original script, meaning you can use one that's already out there or you can make up your own. It's totally up to you. And again, this is a great, great um, competition for those who are just getting started in acting because the reps don't have a script to go off of. So if you do mess up, you can just improvise and they will, they will likely not even know, okay? So before presenting the commercial, contestants aged 18 years or older have to slate their name and contestant number. And if you're under 18, you have to do your name, contestant number, as well as your age, okay? And again, don't worry if you forget anything, the reps will prompt you, they will ask you your name, they'll ask you your age, and they'll make sure that you can see your contestant badge. And all of our CMTC staff who are helping with lineups, they'll make sure your badge is visible as well. So you have questions here? Okay. So again, each contestant is granted 10 to 30 seconds. That's pretty industry standard for any commercial, so that should give you enough time to get out what you have to say and also sell your product, okay? So it's a product or a service. Remember, that's what commercial acting is all about, is selling a product or a service. So keep that in mind when you're picking your commercial or you're making up your commercial. Okay, and no sitting and no lying down. So you can use movement, but again, you don't wanna do anything too distracting. So it's all about your delivery and your facial expressions and less about your big, big movements. Can you dance during the commercial? Again, you can add some creative flair to it and make it memorable, but just don't do anything too, too distracting and make sure you're heard because that's something we do find. If you're moving around too much and you're moving your head away from the judges, it's harder to hear you. Again, you are in a small room with the judges, so they should be able to hear you, but you wanna make sure you're projecting your voice. And again, you're not doing something too, too distracting or adding an element to the commercial that might, but by the time you get in that room, might mess you up. Okay, so again, no sitting down or lying down. We'll ask you to stand. Feel free again to take a little bit of creative liberty, but nothing too, too distracting. Okay, so only carry on props. So that means, again, nothing too big, just something small, like a Coca-Cola can, or again, last year someone used a protein shaker. That's totally fine. Or you don't have to have a prop at all. That's not a requirement. Okay. Um, and no extra participants. So it's just you in that room. You can't have anyone else with you. You're going in that room alone and you're presenting your commercial. For 18 and over, it's name, age, and contestant number for the slate. So for 18 and over, it just can be your name and contestant number because after you are 18, it doesn't matter. The reps just wanna know your age if you're under 18, okay? Can we move off the X we are standing on? Yep, so you just have to start on the X, but like I said, it is best not to do anything too, too dramatic for this competition because it's about you and your acting skills, okay? And judging is based on projection, articulation, wit, intelligence, and believability. So that's what they're judging you on. They're judging you on your acting ability and if you can sell this product, okay, or service. And again, it is close to an audience, so it's just you and the reps in the room. Okay, and do we have a specific script that we need or do we improv improvise? So you make your own script. So I definitely recommend making yourself a script, whether it's a commercial that you know and love or one that you find. There's a lot of great ones on YouTube. Um, even after the Super Bowl, you can even look up Super Bowl 2023 or whatever it is, <laughs> um, commercials and see if there's any that you relate to. So I definitely recommend picking a product or service that you yourself can relate to. Um, that you believe that you would um, actually be selling and be casted to sell. So if you're an adult, I wouldn't sell a child's toy, for example. Um, so again, something that's age appropriate for you is highly recommended. And again, I would not just go in there and improvise. We do have an improv competition where you can show your improv skills, but I would be prepared in this one and knowing what you're going to say. If you do mess up your lines, that's okay. Um, again, the reps don't have a script, so this is a really great competition to get your feet wet with acting because you can improvise if you forget any of your lines. Okay. 
Okay. Is there anything we can do to prepare for CMC? Absolutely. And that's what these sessions are all about. Again, I would also recommend checking out the contestant hub and looking at the important dates and deadlines. That will help you as well. Is it okay if you don't have any hair? Absolutely. Are there example videos of the competition anywhere? So for TV commercial competition, I believe there is an example video on our YouTube from a little while back. I also just added pictures to our Instagram of what it looks like inside the competition room. And again, my best um, example I, I would look at is different commercials on TV because all of those actors who are in those commercials did their audition for the commercial and they did that by something, by kind of what we're doing in this competition, in front of a panel with the casting directors and the clients, and they had to present something, and then they were selected, and then they were given lines for the product they're, they're selling. So how long does it have to be? Again, 10 to 30 seconds. So you have a bit of time there, and you can find commercials again online that are 15 seconds or the bit is 30 seconds. So a sweet spot would probably be about 25 seconds. If you're almost done at 30 seconds, do not stress. These reps know they're working with new faces, and they also would not cut you off if they think that you're going to be finished soon. It's just it can't be, to be fair to other contestants, it can't be a minute-long commercial. Can it be a made-up commercial? Yep, so again, we don't provide it. This is... One of the only acting competitions we don't provide a script for, and that's intentional, you can make up your own commercial for this one. Could this be for voiceover only? Yeah, exactly. So there are a lot of voiceover actors who audition for commercials, and again, they audition live in person, and then through their voice in the audition, they are selected through their projection and articulation. Okay, so I'm gonna get into wardrobe requirements. So costumes are not permitted. So that means don't, if you're coming as a, say your commercials about a doctor or a doctor's office, you don't need to dress up like a doctor. We recommend daytime casual. That's pretty industry standard for any audition. Daytime casual, jeans and a top, nothing too distracting. Yet again, I keep mentioning that because it's about you and your performance. These reps know what makeup and hair and wardrobe can do for you. They want to know and hear what you have to offer and your performance. That's what they're worried about is your performance. So nothing too distracting. So again, reps suggest as well, daytime casual outfits. And if you're looking for more inspiration for your wardrobe for CMTC 2023 and acting competitions, we do have that on our Pinterest page, which I will link on Thursday in the email. Okay, so I have some more tips from the judges. So again, select an age appropriate commercial about something you love or something you're passionate about. So that means if you love it and you're passionate about it, that's gonna come through in a commercial or at least while you're auditioning for the product or service that you've selected. What happens after you deliver your commercial? So once you deliver your commercial, you can say thank you, thanks for giving me your time or whatever you wanna say and then you exit the room. So there will be a staff member inside the room opening and closing the door and they will kind of cue you if you don't really know what to do or if the reps have questions, which sometimes happens as well, they'll ask you a question and they will send you out. However, if they don't ask you a question, don't worry. Again, it does just depend. If you, you could have done a great job and they could still have no questions. So that's okay too. You'll know, so as soon as you're done, you'll kind of know, you'll get that cue whether you need to be done or not. If for little ones, if they're four to seven, our staff are pretty on top of it. So we'll instruct them where to go. We'll let them know when they can start or the reps themselves will let them know when to start. And then we'll take them out and make sure they meet with mom and dad. For adults, you'll get the social cue whether when you're done, if the reps have no questions and you just exit. Is a four-year-old, this is a great question, is a four-year-old required to enter the room alone or a parent is permitted at the door? So again, industry standard, It's if you were at a live seminar, Audra always says this is a very, very interesting industry because we teach our kids not to talk to strangers. However, just like if your four-year-old is on set, they are required to be on set by themselves and perform by themselves. So mom and dad, of course, can be um, on the other side of the camera sometimes or sometimes not sometimes they're not in the room while they're filming because of sound and other things that can happen but for this competition mom and dad um, can stand outside the door we'll close the door send little one in 
we'll have them stand on the X. Again, myself or a different staff member is likely or always in the room and the reps as well. So the reps for those who are judging the children work with children. So they're very, very aware of how to conduct themselves, of course, and how to also instruct a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old in what to do if they do get a little nervous. Um, and again, if it's a four year old who gets in there and is a little stressed, we again understand We'll pull them out, maybe have a chat with mom and dad and bring them back in and give them a second chance. So again, this is for new faces. CMTC is for the exposure and the experience. So again, we will work with you in ensuring that they're comfortable. So what types of questions would they ask? So again, it is up to the rep if they have a question, but if you're over 18, they might just ask your age. If you're under 18, they might just ask, have you done this before? It depends. They might not even ask a question, but um, again, it's not against the rules. A point, the, one of the points of CMTC is for you to get in front of these reps and connect with them. So if they ask a question, then you just kind of have to go with it and answer the best of your ability. But it's never anything too stressful. It's just always about you, the question. So hopefully you would know the answer in that, in that case. Okay. And another tip from the judges is don't overcomplicate your audition. So don't overcomplicate the commercial you choose. Choose something that you feel confident in talking about. Choose something that you choose lines that you're comfortable saying. Again, you get to create the script. So there shouldn't be anything that you have complications with like if there's a word that you have a struggle if you struggle saying then maybe change that word out and use a different word so again it's completely up to you okay and then the most important part is be confident so again this is a competition you can start preparing for now so if it's 15 to 30 seconds take that 30 seconds a day and practice your commercial and then if you can say it in your sleep then when you do get in front of these reps it is just natural to get a little nervous in these situations, especially because TV commercial is usually one of our first competitions at CMTC. So it's gonna be one of your first times in this room with these reps, with these career makers. So it does get a little bit nerve wracking, of course, but if you know the commercial and you've been practicing, then you will have that confidence in yourself to present your commercial, okay? So I have some tips from Ray Miller, who we love at CMTC. So, I'm just gonna actually read them because I don't wanna misquote him. So it's all about how you deliver the line. So don't worry about a prop. It's just adding another element that could go wrong and to think about. So again, you don't have to have a prop. You can have a small prop. You can't have anything that's too, too big, but you can have something small. But Ray does suggest to not bother with the prop as if your commercial is about Coca-Cola, these reps can imagine that in, if it's a real commercial, there's gonna be a product in, in your hand or there's gonna be a product placement. Okay, so daytime casual outfit, no costumes. However, you can look the part that you are trying to sell in the commercial. So if you're a cowboy in the commercial, you do not have to come in spurs and a cowboy hat. However, you could wear jeans and a plaid top. If you're doing a fitness or athletic commercial, um, then wearing something that is form fitting and you wouldn't be wearing like high heels, for example. So those are some really great tips from Ray. Um, I would definitely take his word for them as well. Just gonna look for more questions. Okay. Okay, so again, just to recap, the TV commercial cannot be longer than 30 seconds. Um, you make up your own. We do not provide the script for this commercial. Oh, sorry, for this competition. Costumes aren't permitted, but you can wear something that's appropriate for the commercial or the product or the service that you're trying to sell. Only carry on props that are quick and easy and that you can hold in line. Our staff will not be holding your props for you. So you do have to, if you're gonna hold it in line, again, make sure it's something small, nothing too big, nothing too distracting, okay? And keep it simple and have fun. And that's really all about TV commercial competition. Like I said, there are some examples of what this competition looks like in our highlight reel, as well as on our YouTube channel. And I did post some photos so you can see what it looks like when you walk in the room with the reps at a table. So again, you walk in, stand on the X and present your commercial. Again, we don't provide the scripts. It has to be under 30 seconds and have fun with it. Pick something that you really, really enjoy, something that you really talk about or want to talk about, I should say. 
Um, a lot of ladies will choose like a makeup product or a hair product. Um, if you're into fitness, again, someone used a shaker, protein. Um, if you're a child, your favorite toy, your favorite snack, things like that. No problem, Melissa. Okay, so if we have no more questions, and I think we've covered everything, this is a really quick session. If you're not in this competition and you do want to be in this competition and you're registered for CMTC, you can just use the Add a Competition form on the Contestant Hub, or you can just reach out to our team and we can help you out. And again, you will receive a copy of this and a summation of everything I've talked about on Thursday. Um, I think I've recapped things a couple times now, so I do think I'm done. There's not too many questions here. Oh, here's one more. Can you walk around and move while presenting your commercial? Absolutely. Again, you can use your creative liberty, just don't do anything too distracting. So you only have 30 seconds to get your lines out. So for example, I wouldn't do a somersault as I'm presenting my lines because that's gonna muffle my voice, it's gonna muffle what I'm saying, and it's gonna be very distracting for the reps. Okay, what if the script is 30 seconds on the dot? That's absolutely fine. So the reps won't cut you off. Again, they understand um, that people can be nervous. So we're, they're not gonna cut you off after 30 seconds. However, if it goes way beyond 30 seconds, that's when out of fairness for everybody else, they're gonna have to cut you off. So you can start on the X and if you do wanna do a bit of movement, because that's also a part of acting as well as using your body and using your body language, you can definitely move. You don't have to stand stiff as a board. I actually would not recommend that. Um, but again, nothing too big or just too distracting in the movements. I assume you have to use a monologue style script. Yeah, so it would just be yourself. There's not a reader and you can't have a reader with you. So it would just be you saying those lines. So yeah. In the commercial tape, do you sleep first? Um, for self tape competition, you can slate if you want to. Are points deducted for being under 30 seconds, like if it's 25 seconds, for example? Nope, so it can be from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. So like I said, right now, a lot of commercial segments, because they're put on social media as well, they're 15 seconds or 30 seconds. So they'll film a 30 second commercial and they'll cut it into 15 seconds. So our alumni Nikita just did one for HelloFresh and you'll notice that there's a 30 second version and then there's a 15 second version. And then I do think they even have longer version about a 45 second version. Hi, Isaac. Quick question, are headshot for the program book they need to be submitted January 31st by midnight? Yep, or February 1st. A lot of people still submit on the 1st, so as long as they're submitted basically by 11.59 on February 1st, you're good to go. We do also send reminders, but like I said, we start working with the publisher um, not long after the February 1st deadline, so get them in as soon as you can. Are we placed on a list so we know who is next? Okay, so for lineups, we haven't really chatted about this yet, but you'll get your contestant number and you'll be in numerical order according to your division. So a lot of the times we'll have our little ones, the four to sevens go first because it is a longer day for them. Um, so they'll go first and then we'll have our eight to 11s. We also divide the reps up based on who they represent. So we have all of our reps that represent children and if we're scouting for kids in the room, that's going to be judging for the kids. So you'll know um, when you get the itinerary, you'll see the lineups. And so the lineup times usually start between about 15 minutes before the competition. So you'll go to line, our staff are everywhere. So they'll help you and make sure that you get where you need to be. And you'll probably get acquainted with the person who's before and after you by the time you're done with CMTC in the numerical order. For the program book, do we need professional headshots? Nope, so they don't need to be professional as long as you can clearly see your face, shoulders up, that's all we care about. So you can take it with an iPhone, Android, any type of camera, as long as it's clear. <laughs> no problem, Isaac. Are you allowed to, this is a great question, are you allowed to use sound effects music during the commercial? Nope. So again, it's industry standard, and if you were to audition for a real commercial or a real spot on TV, it is just you, and in this case, our reps and judges, and in the case of a real audition, the casting director and the clients. 
Um, so no, so it's just about you and your performance. Music would be considered distracting. Okay. Can the headshots be in black and white? They can be in black and white. I would recommend the color because our program book photos are now in color, but they can be in black and white. Okay, so I think that's everything. So like I said, if you wanna kind of get an idea of what this competition looks like, definitely check out our Instagram page. I just posted some photos of last year's competition so you can kind of see what it looks like in the room and see the setup. And then next week, we're talking about photography go see competition. So definitely tune in next week. And like I said, if you're a contestant, you'll receive a copy of this and a copy of what we've talked about. And if you have any other questions, you can just reach out to our team. No problem at all. And I got one more question here. Does it matter? I think this is about self tape. Does it matter for the self tape in any location, indoors and outdoors? I always recommend inside because you can control sound a little more inside and near a window so you have good natural lighting. But again, you want to be heard and you don't want anything too distracting happening behind you. Or So it's really, really hard to isolate sound when you're outside. Hi, Dana. You can just email our team about this, okay? Because we do understand sometimes things like this do happen. So just email our team and we'll talk to you about it, okay? Same, same with you, Isaac, okay? So anything about program book photos, if you're worried about the deadline, just email our team and we're gonna do our best to work with you. But February 1st is our hard deadline. Um, but like I said, we want to work with you. So please just email us if you have a circumstance like that, okay? Alrighty. Okay, well, thank you everyone for your time. And I can't wait to see you in May. And next week is Photography Go See competition. So tune in for that if you're in that competition or if you're interested in that competition.